it's about 8 30 in the morning on tuesday march 19th 2023 and as you can see number 45 uh he died so based on rigor mortis he probably died a couple hours ago um but uh yeah he gave his best shot i did what i could um sad but that's one of the reasons why we don't uh want the heifers to give birth until they're two years old so i'm i'm almost entirely to blame for this one the mom probably did everything she could i think the mom threw in the towel before i did so i don't feel too bad it is cold it's below 40. we had some frost this morning just a little bit of frost now the grass is wet i brought the long boots I should have brought my rain boots but uh <clears throat> anyway um let's take a look at yellow's calf hello yellow how's your calf where is your calf probably hiding somewhere so i think that's 16 total calves this year 17 i'll have to do the math again see where everything's at um, let's see, 26, 27, where is Yellow's calf? Should mention we moved into the sixth of seven rows. You can see there's some pretty good grass here. There's natural little bit of hill here. I think the previous owners at one time put their hay here, a hay ring or something. Um, so a lot of this growth is because of that hay decomposing over the years, I think. Um, but this is just uh, south of that tremendously good grass we had at the end of the last row near the chickens. Speaking of which, I don't see where the chickens are. Oh, they're in the trees. They're just little ninjas. Anyway, let me go find Yellow's calf. Number 46. Um... It's probably in the bushes somewhere. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um. Maybe it's up north here. Or south. <sighs> Looks like this calf was nursing on the mama from the wrong end and the mama decided that was a good time to let one go. Well, good news is we're getting like an inch of rain a couple days. We'll be able to take a shower. <laughs> Sometimes you get it on the head. It's pretty gross. <laughs> so. I'm seeing lots of uh, hairy vetch, lots of clover, uh, quite a bit of grass too. Some other things that I can't identify. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing yellow's calf anywhere. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Well, so that's four calves that died this year. Uh, one calf died uh, while being born. The mama was too small. She couldn't make the hole big enough. Two calves died about a week after birth, um, probably because of injury, because they're laying in the hay and the cows stepped on them or kicked them or something. And then uh, this last calf was unexpected. So this cow here is the same age, almost the same age. As number 19 that gave birth to number 45 um, but she did not conceive she did not give a calf so here's number 19 yeah I'm not seeing yellow's calf he wins at hide and seek or she wins because it's a female but I'm sure I'll find her later. I'm just looking at the horizon and 
anything brown. Pretty sure it's a brown calf. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Well, it's a beautiful morning. It's supposed to get up to 67 or something today, so it should be nice in the afternoon. Um, we have a thunderstorm coming on Thursday. In two days, uh, the forecast is an inch of rain. And then after that, we'll get up to the 70s. But March is not really going to get past the 70s. And even April is looking like it's going to be all in the 70s, which I'm fine with. The cool season grass doesn't need, I think, 80s and above is not good for the cool season grass. So we'll probably do just fine uh, with temperatures in the 70s with plenty of grass growth. One of the problems we have in this area is our springs sometimes get cut short by an early heat wave. And uh, when that happens, we can run a little low on forage as we wait for the warm season grasses to start growing. Um, so it's typically not ideal to have a short spring. So the longer the spring, the better. So, all right, that's all I got for you guys this morning. Just bad news and, and good news, I guess, about the rain. So have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.